With a range of up to 300 yards, it spread devastation. October 1781, Virginia, the Battle of Yorktown. A revolutionary army gun crew gets ready to fire a cannon. Could this be the shot that wins the fight? In the 18th century, artillery was a major factor in many battles, especially during the American Revolutionary War. Often the army with superior firepower came out on top. In smaller battles, the presence of just one cannon could make a difference. Cannons fired all sorts of munitions, though there was one type of projectile that was particularly deadly on the battlefield. We all know that cannons fire cannonballs, right? But in addition to firing large, solid balls of iron, they would also fire hollow cannonballs that were filled with gunpowder and would explode at the feet or over the heads of the enemy, raining down jagged chunks of metal known as shrapnel. But it was the case shot which proved to be an incredibly effective weapon against advancing cavalry and infantry. The case shot behaved similar to a shotgun blast. With a range of up to 500 yards, it spread devastation over a wide area. In a case shot shell, a thin metal cylinder encased dozens of large metal balls. At the bottom of a wooden sabot, French for shoe, when loaded into the cannon, would create an air seal, leading to extra force when shot meaning the balls exploded out of the barrel at lethal speed. On the battlefield, you wouldn't want to be on the wrong end of a cannon if any of these projectiles were flying at you. But you wouldn't necessarily want to be the person firing it either. Loading and shooting artillery was not an exact science, and there was a lot that could go wrong. From premature ammunition explosions to a poorly made barrel shattering when fired, accidents could injure or even kill the operators. Being in a gun crew was a risky business, where skill and experience could mean the difference between life and death. From the American victory at Boston in 1776 to the successful bombardment of the British at Yorktown in 1781, the use of artillery and ammunition, like the case shot, was often a deciding factor in securing victory for the Revolutionary Army, which of course led to American independence. If you enjoy learning about the case shot, like and subscribe to our channel.